And welcome back, part two. Let's do this. Uh, just out of curiosity, I want to see what's in the gun case. Another revolver. Mm, don't really need that, so let's continue. <laughs> Incoming Birch Transmission Captain. Or is that Uhura's job? Yeah, that's Uhura's job. Captain, I think I'm receiving some kind of radio transmission. You think? Okay. So, we will get it properly introduced to that character a little bit later. Alright. Now that we have the lockpick, we can properly leave the police station, head out, and let's see, we gotta go start hitting up some of the shopping districts, I believe. And I have no idea where that fat zombie went. And my heart just dropped a little bit. Every time. This part, the very first time I played this, made me scream like a little girl. Run, ladies and gents. Just run. Uh, very unwise to stand and fight when he has a rocket launcher. Oh my god. Anytime I hear that, I'm just like, nope, nope, nope. Take your stars somewhere else, buddy. I don't want any. So, of course, if you're playing on hard mode, then you have, if you defeat Nemesis, you can take custom uh, weapon parts off of them. And you can create new weapons, like a, a better handgun, I think. Um, I, I think you actually get the first aid spray, um, uh, case that holds three but only takes up one item slot if you beat them a certain time. Um, I can't remember what else he may drop. So, let's continue our journey throughout Raccoon City without Mr. Stairs. Uh, okay. Uh, our replacement liquors for the games. For this game, I should say. Which, I don't exactly know what they are, but um, they, in my, in my opinion, they're a lot more deadly than the uh, than liquors. They grab you, they bite into you, they'll claw into you. They remind me of those things from Resident Evil Five, uh, the Reaper, the Reaper creatures. They're also very reminiscent of the Novastadors from uh, Resident Evil Four. Um, And Dogs, a very fearsome enemy from the franchise. I've never, ever liked fighting the dogs. The dogs are, they can, if they get their chance, they can really screw you over. Uh, always wise to use a shotgun, even on one of them. It's always a wise decision to use it. And we will wait for him to approach just a little bit closer. And he brought a friend. So, hey, you know. Three's company, I guess. Power cable. Which we will get to that part of the game in a little while. Uh, not too far, hopefully. Um, pretty fast when it comes to just going through this game, so hopefully it won't be too long before we get to that and we solve it. Um, Resident Evil 3 is really not that long of a game uh, compared... It doesn't have much of the replayability as uh, 
Resident Evil 2 did. I guess that's one of the major drawbacks and probably one of the reasons why I, um, a lot of people have said that this is one of the weakest entries in the franchise, which I have to disagree. I mean, have a look at... And here we have Jill dodging Dobermans like a boss. Again, it completely happens at random for me. I have no idea how to execute the move or whatever. I mean, I'm sure I could read it, but I probably won't understand how to properly do it. But, you know, it's... I, I guess if it was a little bit easier to use, um, probably would have been a much better gameplay mechanic. Here we get properly introduced to our insectoid overlords, which aren't very nice. I, I think they're at least an insect. I can't really tell. Um, unlike previous games, they really don't go into too much detail about the new creatures that come in, um, come into the game. Scum! Because when I'm shooting zombies, I'm going to insult them by calling them scum. And headless zombies moving a little fast for my taste. <laughs> I shot that one all the way back there, but I couldn't manage to kill the one right in front of me. So, pop in here which is another save point, and I'm going to go on ahead and save while I'm in here. And... am I going to need anything else? Well, I'm going to need the infinite amount of ink ribbons, which I think was an ingenious idea, the fact that they decided, hey, you know what, it shouldn't matter. Because, let's face it, not very many people save that often when they're playing a Resident Evil game. At least, I haven't. It's probably not wise of me to do that, but... I digress. And I will come back for that item a little bit later. It's not necessary right now. For we do not have all the... Because we have not enough minerals. And I missed one. No, no point wasting shotgun shells on them when we could just take them down with the Beretta. And that does it for you. Let's see. Use the lockpick. And fire hook. Ah, uh, okay. Right, here's where we use the fire hook. And here we meet our secondary protagonist, Carlos Oliveira, whose character would get completely butchered in the Resident Evil films. Ding! Thumbs up. What's your name? Jill, did you just say you belong to Umbrella's army? Umbrella has an army, and they are willing to use it. We came all the way out here to save you civilians, but the mission went bad the minute we landed. And already we meet our friend Nemesis. And this choice is very misleading. You have the option to hide in the basement, or you can hide inside the kitchen, which we are already in. And I always prefer to hide inside the kitchen because of this. Because you don't hide inside the kitchen, you do something a little bit more intelligent, in my opinion. Throw a heated lamp in front of a gas tank and blow them up. Seems smart, right? Are you crazy? Yeah, but you're still alive, buddy. You're still alive, and that's all that matters, McCloud. I will take your head. Only if need be. Okay, I'm done with Highlander. Yes. Alright, what are we looking for down here again? His chest has been ripped into and torn apart. 
don't exactly... Maybe it's not down here. We have to go back up and we have to f actually fight our friend. And I dropped him, at least that's what I can see from inside the kitchen. Or... Yeah, his hand's still pulsing, so... He's not down for the count yet. Ooh. And that takes care of him. The Magnum works wonders in this game. I think it's a 357. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, it's a 44. My mistake. That's okay. That's a very good mistake if it's a 44 instead of a 357. Pack more of a punch. Rip Mr. Nemesis T type apart. Wait. I have to ask you something. I know. You want to ask me out? Someone's a little overconfident. Accent. It drives them crazy. What? He's dreaming. Tell me, why did Umbrella send your team in? We're here to rescue the civilians. Don't lie to me. Umbrella is the reason why this whole mess began. Look, we're just mercenaries, hired hands. Do you really think the master would tell his dogs why they have to retrieve the stick he just threw? If you want answers, you should talk to someone else. I am not with Umbrella. Believe it or not, we're only here to rescue <laughs> are you, the civilians. Or are you just bait? If you can trust me, then help us. Think about it. The world may never know. His Latino fury burns deep within his veins. I'm sorry, that may have been a little prejudicial to me, but you know, pretty fuck. I don't know. I don't know anymore. Alright, put put the Magnum away, Jim. We, you don't really need it. Uh, we'll go on ahead and we'll take the blue gem. Or actually let's let's equip the handgun for a little bit. Need to be using that a little bit more. Catholic Student Center. Okay. Sure, why not? Oh, Raccoon City. Everything in your town is just a giant puzzle. It seems that this is not enough to make the device work. What the hell is it? We may not ever know. The Raccoon Press. Alright. Well, dude, Woodward and Bernstein must have really trashed this place once Nixon got pissed off at him. History reference! Horrible one at that, but we'll go with it. And I hope, I hope that there is not something behind those shutters. I hope there is not something behind these shutters. Okay. I'll take it. Oh no. Explosions! Michael Bay! Apparently, uh, somebody got a little pissed off because somebody ran a spin on the Raccoon City Mayor and how he's been laundering money through various different channels. Random fat zombie who's now dead. Alright. Let's just get what we came for and leave. Oh, nobody. Uh, no. I don't think so. Get away from me. Jill's not giving out an exclusive interview right now. She 
She doesn't like to talk about what happened at the Spencer Estate. Was it the Spencer Estate? Technically? It was the mansion. I don't, I don't really know my Resident Evil. I'm blanking right now. My Resident Evil history is inadequate. Slap that in there. Welcome to Raccoon City Hall, I guess. At least they have riot proof shutters. <laughs> He's down there on his knees begging. Oh, Jill, I'm so glad to see you. Help me, please. I require medical attention. And she proceeds to shoot him instead. Dick move, Miss Valentine. Dick move. And he is not dead. That's what I thought. Double tap. Always double tap. And you're down. At least he's down now. Oh, oh, I didn't even see him there. I mean, gotta love that. Great. Caution. My favorite. Alright, I guess we have to use caution now. Lonsdale Yard. Mmm. Sounds snobbish. Oh, look, green herbs. My favorite. And everybody in the Resident Evil universe is magically a botanist. Pretty sure I mentioned that in Resident Evil 2, but it seems like everybody's magically a botanist. I can crush these green plants. No, it's, it's cannabis. <laughs> That's what it is. Resident Evil is for drug addicts. And bye-bye, puppy. Puppies. took care of them. And you're done. Takes care of the dog. And no, I don't want to run back that way, Miss Valentine. I want to go in here. The tram line. The tram line! You're one of the survivors from the rescue team, right? I just ran into your teammate, Carlos. How did a girl like you manage to survive? Hey, I'm no ordinary civvy. I'm a member of STARS. STARS? You mean the RPD Special Force Team? <laughs> hey, is someone wounded back there? Is someone wounded? Oh, I don't know. Oh, this looks bad. Oh, they're coming. Get ready. Oh, fire. Fire. Stay together. Calm down. You're safe now. Everything is going to be okay. I'm sure everything's going to be okay with the fact that half of his body has been ripped apart by something we don't know. He could be infected for all we know. We should just... So Jill, we should just, like, give him... It looks like make him comfortable and just let him go. If you know what I mean. No, we can't trust her. Why? But Sergeant, we need her help. 
Our unit's down to you, me, and Lieutenant Mikhail. That's it. And Mikhail's hurt bad. If we don't cooperate, this is true. walking away from this mission. Fine. Then let's go over our plan. We're moving to the clock tower area, which is the designated landing zone for the extraction chopper. Once we get there and give the signal, the chopper will fly in and pull us out. That's a lot of ground to cover. You're not going to make it on foot. Silly Carlos, you're not thinking at all. Look at what you're standing in. So we have no choice but to use this cable car to navigate through it. Fortunately, we can also use it as a moving shield to get us through the worst areas. That works for me. Good plan, sir. Yeah. Let's get moving. Go red. Mm. Jill, put this on. I guarantee you it'll make your sex appeal go up by three. Alright, that does it for part two. Join me in part three where we're going to gather the components, amass the components, in order to get ourselves to the clock tower.